Warning, the following video contains like an unnecessary amount of strong language. So, you know, viewer discretion is advised. You know, not, not for kids is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So we gotta stay in the top three and we'll get an extra five grand from Mr. Jackie Brown. I'm pretty sure that means once I get into the top three, I have to stay there. Not just finish in the top three. Hey, can you stop being such a jerk, Penny? Still nobody got no upgrades. I mean, if Jackie ain't got upgrades, why? Wow, he just took out the pizza man. If Jackie ain't got no upgrades, then I don't think anybody else is going to have them either. I actually think Alfonso has the best car, uh, stats-wise. Well. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Oh, huh, nice. Okay. I honestly don't know if it means stay in the top three or if it means, like, finish in the top three. He said finish in the top three, but the bet said stay in the top three. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess we got to finish in the top three. Also, here's some of the uh, local natives. They don't appreciate. They're actually quite large people. Those are some giant people shooting arrows at people, or shooting arrows at us. Because I guess we are people. So I guess that's still not wrong. Yeah, just absolutely botched that. Uh, trying to go for that jump there. That's fine. I'm so damn fast. Look at me. Fast as fuck. Alphonse and Jackie roughing each other up. You can rough up the AI a little bit. You can spin them out. You can do this. You know, you can, you can mess with them. I don't usually try to. And that just absolutely decimated all of them. Except for, like, one of them, which I'm assuming was Luigi. Who got at who do was not involved in that. Also, if you notice, the track's backwards. We're going, we're mirrored. I'm pretty sure. Jackie says he says best under pressure. So yeah, they'll actually talk to you during the race when you have a bet. There we go, season opening win. Fastest lap. Uh, definitely got our uh, wager done. How much money did we make? The problem is I can't just, like, press A to make it, you know, tally up. I gotta sit here and watch it. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. $9,000, definitely gonna have money to get upgraded. You drove well, but admit it, you got lucky. I didn't get lucky. It was all skill. Then we have another visitor. Hello! It's Jackie, again. Bust Radar 1 on lap 1. $10,000. Absolutely. We have $23,000. Of course I'm gonna, I'll take that bet, because I still have money to upgrade my car. Well, no, I don't. Well, yeah, I do. I can upgrade the brakes. So I'll do that. I gotta fix it first. So we'll upgrade those brakes. And that... I believe it gives us like a body kit on this car. Yes it do! We have like a nice sweet body kit. Car's looking real good, don't you think? Beautiful Aspen summer. It's a little bit later in the day. Gotta bust Radar 1. That shouldn't be too hard. I honestly thought we were going to Hollywood, but that, that race is last on uh, this season. Still nobody with upgrades. Yeah, nobody upgraded their car yet. Ow, Alphonse, you dick. That's not safe. At all. Nothing in the, A lot of things in this game aren't safe. The cars... Also, isn't Radar 1 the one at the bottom of the hill? That's an awful bet to make, Jack. Like, why would, why would you put up 10 Gs for that? Like, look, I'll just go down the hill at Mach 10. Like, I'm going so fast. I almost hit those rocks. Like, it is 165. Which is pretty fast. But, I mean, my car hit like 100, would hit 170 top speed without an upgrade. 
I do think it's really cool that they, you, the tracks actually have different times of day and, you know, different seasons and stuff like that. No rain. You're not going to get anything crazy in, uh, in Class D, though. I guess when it rains, they just postpone it to another bit. All right. <laughs> that bit of a moment with the, uh... Green kind of flickering and flashing, changing colors and doing all kinds of weird shit, which I guess I should expect. It's probably these old, this old ass cable uh, for Dreamcast that's it's kind of just giving the the uh, adapter a little bit of hell. But hopefully everything looks fine now. I can't really tell honestly. Nothing looks out of place. Everything looks the right color. I'm not gonna sit here and wait. Damn, Jack, you were down all the way in fourth. I didn't think you had it in you. You're okay, kid. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Cool. Anybody else? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna spend my money then. Oh, that's right. The car's damaged. Well, I'm sorry. There we go. Now I can spend the money on the car. That's only a minuscule upgrade, to be fair. But, you know... Yeah, go ahead and put that in the car twice. And you see, we got like a nice little, uh, nice little thing popping out the hood. What are, I don't know what, I don't even know what you call that. Like, I have no idea. I, I never learned what that's called. But anyway, we, are we, we're done with this. No, we got Hollywood left. That's right. No. How far ahead am I? See, there it goes again. Now it's, everything's really bright now, all of a sudden. Or is everything the right color now? Hell, I don't know. This whole thing, this whole thing, this whole setup is a bit weird. <laughs> like, honest to God. Like, it doesn't make any damn sense, the things that I'm doing. Recording a fucking Dreamcast on the Elgato HD60S. Like, just absolute stupidity of it all. Still nobody got upgrades? None? None to speak of? Anybody got an upgrade? Oh, wait. Does Jack have an upgrade? He does not. I thought he did. I got excited. <sighs> Good job, Alphonse. Doing God's work, bro. I mean, hell, I might as well just go up to class. Do I even want to do one more season of this? I'm racing as these scrubs. I probably shouldn't fuck around and like I probably should make sure that I that I think I got a good enough car. I know C ain't that much better, but like I said, you can fuck around and find out and get locked out of progression because you let somebody get their uh, car upgraded too much. And victory. As if you expected anything else. You know, I talked up Penny so much, and she literally has been getting beaten by Alfonso, who just runs straight in the trees on the regular. You know, it's pretty sad that, that she can't she can't beat him. I wasn't at my best, otherwise you would never have won. Sure, Jack. Keep telling yourself that. So there we go. Another three wins, another season sweep. Uh, Penny Parker actually finishes second in points this time, just by 20 points over Jackie Brown. Season over, we have enough to move up to the next class. And you know what I thought about it? Let's go. Let's go to the next class. Fuck it, right? Why not? Well, why why not just go ahead and, and, and get on up there? And, uh, well, we meet again. You're doing well, it seems. I wasn't sure you'd get this far, but I'm glad you did. It's going to start getting a little more serious now. When things become per too personal between you and another drival, another drival, drival, drival. When things become too personal between you and another driver, you will receive a vendetta challenge. If you accept, you'll race one on one against that driver. Remember though, the wager for a vendetta is always the same: your car. And don't count on me to bail you out if you lose and don't have enough money to buy yourself another car. If you prove yourself against the others, I'll visit you again and offer you the chance to earn special upgrades for your car. Keep it up when you may get to meet Driver X after all. Bear in mind, though, he's never lost a vendetta in his life. So there we go. That's the, uh, the big, big, uh, whoops. The big, big, uh, 
kind of bet is uh, vendettas. You can win other people's cars. Which is uh, how you end up getting uh, Driver X's car, which I'll actually show you. I haven't gone into the um, go, uh, cars here. So you got the Bell Ray, the Orion, which is literally just Penny Parker's car, and then the Atlantis, which is old boy's car, our boy Alfonso's car. But this is the Mystere. And the Mystere is, uh, or maybe it's the Mr. A. I don't know. Mystere, Mr. A, whatever you want to call it. It is the best car in the game, but you see it doesn't have a price because you can't fucking buy it because it's the best car in the game. Why would they let you buy that? That's Drive Rex's car. You don't get to have that. You don't get to buy that. You get this. This is what you get. You get a Bel 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 Air Bel Ray. Let's see what we got here. Nevada already starting out with a new track. We got Aspen uh, Winter, and we got Canada. So we already got two new tracks on the schedule. Let's go ahead and meet our new competitors. Starting off, we have this crazy old man who has a pet monkey. I think his lore is he's like a movie star. He's also apparently a wacko. <laughs> irrational. Yeah, I'd call that pretty damn irrational. Spaced out. He's one of the ones that can win races, by the way. You have James Hummer who does not drive a Hummer, he drives an Orion, which is the same car as Penny Parker. He's rough. He can win races, he can upgrade his car. He, I've seen him get quite his car quite upgraded, but he's not the one I'm worried about. He, uh, him, and, him, and, him and the Blue Bullet are not the uh, two that I'm... He's rational, I like that Blue Bullet's irrational, but this guy's irrational. Oh man, is it Tex Dalton that I'm worried about? No, it's not Tex Dalton. Look at his fucking car. Nobody's worried about Tex fucking Dalton. He's literally quite possibly one of the worst drivers in the entire game. He is not very good. He is grumpy, but he's not very good. Like, he's, he's genuinely dog shit. <laughs> yeah, frustrated. I would be too if I was as slow as him. Here is the person we are worried about. It is Vanessa Rockwell. It is a very, well, let's be blunt, hot redhead that drives a fucking Jeep that uh, is, in fact, arrogant. Contemptuous. Really getting some $10 words out there, aren't we? Elegant. Okay. So there you go. She's the one that uh, I've gotten behind on. And uh, she's upgraded her car so much that I couldn't beat her. Because she was just too fast. So here we go, Nevada. The track from the uh, opening cutscene thing. Except it's daytime. We will start to get some weather conditions, I think, in Class C. But we should be fine. Our cars look pretty good. I mean, we got a guy that's got a, a car that we raced against in Class uh, D, and he's, I mean, he's leading the race right now. You can see that. So his car is not awful, obviously. And wow, I've been passed by Tex Dalton. I want to say that uh, in the book, for this game, uh, you get like a little bit of a uh, like background on everybody, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, James, really and truly, James is the one outside of uh, Vanessa that will win. I forget how how good he can be. I mean, like, he's like pretty good out in front right now. But uh, Tex Dalton never wins. Uh, Blue Bullet can win, but he doesn't win as much as um, James does. Sometimes James is even better than Vanessa, but Vanessa is usually the one that wins a lot. You motherfucker, ignore the fact that I cut him off. It's all his fault. 
but you can already see how much more competitive this uh, class is compared to D. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit more difficult to win races with this car. If it gets a little too difficult, I might sell this car and get a faster one. Obviously, uh, we'll be making more money. See my car in a straight line is faster than this. Because he just has the stock Orion. But I don't I don't think it'll be too difficult, but I, will, I do think it will be a, uh, a step up in competition. Forgot how damn long this track is too. Not a fan. I, I, I don't like Night Nevada. It's not a favorite of mine. I'm trying to th I think Canada. I like uh, Canada's okay. Canada's an okay track. It's got some cool shortcuts. Right, so you don't want to do that. Well, you can do that because you just bounce right off. But sometimes you get stuck on that damn. I think that's a genie lamp. Yeah, fireworks. You know, in the middle of the day, that'll go over well. Almost three minutes a damn lap. Jesus. Here we go. Here's one of the things that happens on lap two of this race. A fucking UFO crashes. <laughs> Just pretty wild. Takes out the entirety of the bridge, pretty much. And with that, our first race in Class C is a victory. Because I'm just that damn good, I guess. Vanessa second, James third, Tex Dalton fourth, and the Blue Bullet in last. Maybe I overhyped the Blue Bullet, but I swear I thought he could, I remembered he could win races. He did make more money. Oh, right, radars. Tex actually had the highest top speed. As my AI crashes into all. So yeah, uh, I mean, they're, they're breaking out, they're breaking radars too, uh, obviously. So they get, they get that money from those as well, as you can see. I'm guessing James didn't break many radars. I could have beat you easily. I just didn't want to scratch my truck. That's a Jeep. I guess it can be called a truck. I'll allow it. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Bust Radar 1 on lap 2. You got it. Let's get it on. Oh, please don't tease me. Anyway. Yeah, we need 100,000 points to get the next class. We're already at 64,000. Oh, yeah, we can actually look at the trophies. So you got uh, banners here. So you got Winter Class D Mexico, Winter Class D Hollywood, Winter Class D Aspen, and so on and so forth. It's going to go up. And you have trophies as well here. I don't know what the trophy on the left is supposed to be. There's a space for a trophy on the left. I guess that's for, like, oh, I don't know what it's for. Yeah, nothing really to... Wait, what? What? Oh, yeah, the Blue Bullet did score the second most points despite finishing in last. I, I, yeah. Huh. That's kind of weird, ain't it? I guess theoretically you could do that. You make, if you, if you make a bunch of money... I don't know if I don't know if bets wait I don't think bets uh count into that though. I'm pretty sure they don't. It'd be kinda weird if they did. But we have twenty four thousand dollars. Is that enough to No, it is definitely not enough. It's not enough for any damn thing. I can't even get nitrous, it won't let me. Ugh. Well, I think that's enough for now. I think we'll continue this later. So uh thank you guys for watching. I'm doing outros again apparently. I'll see you next time. Peace.